So today we will be running the uh, 9980XC finally on LN2. So uh, the whole uh, configuration is pretty much the same as with the 7900X. We have uh, four sticks of Samsung B die, eight kicks each, and we'll run them around 3800 something, 12, 11, 11. And uh, I hope that the CPU will do at least 5.6 gigahertz for Cinebench, Cinebench and so on. We will see. Uh, the 9980XE is sold instead of using paste uh, between the IHS and the die, but it doesn't guarantee that the CPU will not crack. And it seems so that these CPUs still crack just like the previous ones. So from time to time we have to uh, heat up the whole uh, CPU and uh, loop some Cinebench and then go back cold. So now we can just start pouring some LM2. And start get the uh, CPU cold. It's dropping fairly quickly, like one degree per second. I really like the T-Rex design over the uh, original uh, Debao Beast. I haven't, I have not tested the uh, Debao TR pot, how it compares to this, but it's very expensive, so I don't think I'll be buying that one. But yeah, I'll boot the system now, and then we will get back uh, in the bars. So uh, now I'm in the bus and uh, since that this CPU has much more cores than the 7900X I will start at a bit lower speed like 5.4 GHz, I'm sure it will do that. Uh, and 37 on the mesh, 100 base clock. Uh, I found out that this CPU doesn't like too high input voltage so I will start with a value of 2 volts instead of 2.15. and. Uh, I will use much lower VCO as well, so 1.45 both on the VCO and on the uh, VMesh. Same on uh, VCCIO. VCCSA could be just auto, it's not used on Skylake like X. Disabled VDroop, so we have load line calibration enabled. 400 on the internal system agent offset. And uh, same memory, so uh, 3800 plus 1.88 volts. 12, 11, 11, 24, common ray 1. And uh, I will now, now I will start in Windows 10 as that OS is needed for uh, the GPU Pi. And uh, it's somewhat okay for some other tests as well. So now I will just cool to approximately minus 90, then I will uh, boot and I'll get back to you in the OS. And uh, I will also uh, use the uh, onboard debug LED to monitor the CPU die temperature again, but yeah. And now we are in the OS, we can see on CPU-Z that the CPU is running at 5.4 GHz. So uh, the first thing we will do is to test the cold bug. So now, right now we are at minus 87, 
I hope that the CPU will do at least uh, minus 110 before it lock ups. So uh, this will determine a lot how far we can push this CPU. Debug LEDs reaching the maximum temp at minus 96 or minus 97. So that will uh, tell us something about our contact and uh, the uh, solder quality between the uh, IH, IHS and the CPU die. Minus 103, mouse still moves. Approaching 110 now, 109, still moves. Still moves. One hundred and ten, and it locked at minus one hundred and fourteen or one hundred and fifteen. So that's our cold back temperature. Now we will push the CPU. Okay, let's do a test run at 5.4 GHz. Uh, C bench, the settings we booted, in, booted, or the settings we booted. Pot temperature of minus 105 to 110. Let's see how the uh, temperature meter will move when we start running C bench. It drops fairly quickly, like one to two degrees per second, and score is. 5379. It's pretty good, but it's still far from the top score of like 5808, 5800 something, which is done with uh, this CPU at 5.8 something. I'm using the same uh, beta bars from May. 2018, so now we will use E-Lead again and just push the CPU one step at a time and I'll uh, try and see how far I can push uh, this 9980XC. So it went just as I feared. The uh, 9980XC really cracks easy. Uh, I was able to push 5.5 uh, in Cinebench really really easy but 5.6 needs some uh, increasement in the voltage so uh, now I have to uh, heat up again and loop some uh, Cinebench as the uh, uh, CPU temperatures showed by the uh, debug LED are already really really bad so I'll just load the uh, uh, safe profile and uh, I'll then then I'll loop some sea bench. And here we have a GPU Pi 1 billion score made at a, at a CPU speed of 5.7 GHz with 4 GHz mesh, a V core of 1.465.
an input of 2 to 50. Actually this likes higher input when it's under LN2 on water, it didn't like so much. Uh, I tried 5.8 but it's really, uh, I don't think it's going to happen because the newer GPU Pi is harder to pass than the old one. But 5.7 is already quite good result. And here we have a Geekbench score of 93,663 with close to 10,900 on the memory with 5640 on the CPU and 3930 on the mesh. I was really close on uh, 5.7 but this CPU is not easy to handle. Yeah, alright. Uh, I think this 9980XE is just above average. It's not a golden one. It cannot match the best ones by Splave or uh, OGS. Uh, the best speed I got for Cinebench was uh, around 5.6. I think the maximum is 5.6 to 5.65. Uh, I was really close on passing Geekbench 3 at 5.7. It would always crash at the end uh, at the DFFT, which is quite hard part of the test. So I think I can pass that 5.7 uh, with time. But yeah, it's not enough considering that the, the uh, uh, best ones did 5.8 to 5.9 for the same test. The GPU Pi went quite well. I got second place on that. Uh, uh, I passed it at 5.7 or so. So uh, that's pretty good. The uh, newer one, the newer GPU Pi version 3 is much harder. Or the G new, new GPU Pi with the new Intel OpenCL is much harder to pass than the older AMD ones, so that's why the uh, uh, frequencies have come down for this specific test. But yeah, uh, that's uh, it pretty much. So I, I don't really think that these CPUs are better than the original Skylake X7000 uh, series CPUs, so if you happen to own a golden 7980XC, 7920X, 7900X, then uh, be happy with it. There's no point on uh, upgrading to a 9000 series Skylake X refresh CPU so uh, I actually like the uh, original ones more because the uh, this one seems to crack even easier than the original one even though this has solder between the IHS and the die so that's that's pretty weird if you ask me the uh, it, it really cracks easy and it's very annoying to always revert back to uh, like minus 20 or so uh, so, uh, of course, you can do quite good water result without deleting, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I don't like the CPU compared, compared to how much I like my 7900X, but yeah, these are quite good anyways. So, uh, uh, if you like this video, if you like to follow my uh, tests and uh, my little, uh, little adventures, then please give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up and uh, Subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time